All right, Virgo, here we go. Ha. It's all made energies update for the sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. General reading, it may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. I just had a fun reading with Taurus. Not so fun. Lots of talk about milk and nipples, and now I'm thirsty for milk, and I need to see some boobs. But aside from that, I'm here with you now, my virgins. I don't see no virgin boobs. Come on now. Uh, two energies here. On your side, Okay, talking about you, Virgo, bored, bored, a little bit confused, feeling at a crossroads, and then bam, shit happens. Chill out. Stay out of your head. Shit's going to happen. All right? This shit happening very soon. Okay? That's the pre-shuffle on your side of the energy. On the incoming side of the energy, somebody's disappointed. Somebody made a bad choice. Again, I reiterate, somebody wants to bang you. Somebody's disappointed with what they've got on their side or what they chose over you. This is very common in these energies. It's not surprising. You know, if you've, if you've been watching my readings lately. Two of Wands, they're setting their intention to fix that. Yeah, they do, but then they don't. Right? Two of Swords. Taurus got this card a lot. I didn't use this deck, but... They did. You might want to watch the Taurus reading. I don't know. Maybe that's for you. For one or two of you, anyway. Two swords. They... It net-net it, it nothing happens. Okay? Yeah, they want to come towards you. Yes, they, they feel they missed out on something. They want another crack at you. But net-net nothing happens. It's, it's too, much, eh, too much time. It's whatever. I think with this person, I still say the more time that passes, the better. Because I see something happening here. They get an idea or something, or something comes crashing down on their side, I can't tell yet, causes them to come charging your way, the Knight of Wands. It's possible, okay? I, do I think it's probable? No. Do I, but it is possible that somebody you thought was long gone is coming your way. But your energy's here too, and like I told you, something's about to happen for you, whether it's this person or it's something else or someone else, I don't know yet. I'm going to shuffle the deck right now. And we'll see where the reading takes us. We'll let the universe tell us what it wants to about you. Because I still get the same incoming energy on your person that I always get. I don't think they've gone through any dark night of the soul. Well, we'll see. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm not. The energy's here. But whatever. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see what the universe wants to tell us. I'll, I don't pull the readings. It does. I just shuffle the deck and then it says, stop. Okay, and I stop. Why the fuck are we here? The card before the cut, the ten swords. Everything's about to change. We're at the end of a fucking... You Virgos are moving into the new cycle. Everybody is. But you especially. You're right there. You're right at the doorway of the new core energy that we're moving into. And when we get through the doorway, that's when all the fun begins. That's why I, I came up... I showed you as bored right now. Or not, not bored, just, you know, not, not much is happening. I mean, maybe you're bored. I don't know. You could be, some of you. There's too many of you watching to say for sure, but let's see. Let's cut the deck. What comes after Ten Swords? God, I hope it's something good. I do. It is. It's the uh, Six of Pentacles. Again, something's about to happen here. There's something where there was nothing. It seems dead. And then all of a sudden, it, it, could, it could have to do with money. I know it's not Steve Career Tarot or Steve Pinnacle Tarot, but it, it could. That energy is kind of there. It could be you have nothing right now. Everything feels dead and done. Oh, my God, I lost everything. And then all of a sudden, you got money to burn. You got money to give away. You got money to land out. But this is Steve's Love Tarot. And I can tell you something's about to happen. And I guarantee you, it is something that you never thought would happen. That's just the way I feel it. You know, if it's your soulmate person who ran from you, it's, it, it's all of a sudden, they're very generous. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I didn't look. You, you, did you hear what I did? I went, ah, yeah. You know, kind of like, but I, as I said that, they're, they're being generous. There's something behind it if it's that soulmate. There's something behind it. They want to bang. I, I hate saying this in your readings. They want to bang you. I don't know why. What is it with you? Is it because you're virgins? I mean, I know that's hot, right? Being someone's first time. My God. But there's something behind it that's 
deceptive. Something's about to happen there with that soulmate. Now, for, for the other things I'm talking about with, with what happens in your life, that's, that card isn't... It, it doesn't matter. That card that card's energy revealed itself to me when I was talking about that soulmate that ran from you. It has nothing to do with you being on the precipice of the new cycle and the Six of Pentacles. That's different. Okay, so I want to make that very clear. Now, nah, it's just that damn runner. I'm telling you. What is it? What the hell? It must be hot that you're a virgin or something. I don't know. I'm shuffling the deck right now. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Virgo. Under the current energies universe. What the hell is going on here? Look at this. I'm telling you, something's about to fucking happen. The overall energy is the chariot. It might be two things for some of you, though. I get that off the card. One good, one bad. All right? And, and uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rephrase that. All right? I don't need to start any goddamn racial wars around here. I'm not saying the black horse is bad and the white horse is good. I'm not that fucking stupid. I'm saying... <laughs> I'm not Archie Bunker out here. No, I'm talking about one of them has some nefarious things going on. It's this white one here, just so you know. No, and the other one is is just you thriving, okay? It's very strange. It's very strange. Queen of Pentacles. Your energy is here. Either way, you win, okay? The Queen of Pentacles always wins. Either way, you win. You know, I can't believe it. The universe is throwing me some great shit here. It's, it's, the, the readings this week are really strange. They're both difficult and complex all at the same time. All right. Our reading's on the flip. Let's see where we go. I'm going to leave these two crossing each other. All right. Either way, you win. It doesn't matter. Right here's the energy around. Uh, I I, do I want to do this this way or do I want to do another reading? Give me a second. I'm being encouraged just to throw some cards. All right, I'm, we're just going to throw cards, Virgo. I don't know what's going on here because I got two energies. I got a soulmate that wants to come towards you, ran from you, and I got your energy. So just sit the fuck down and relax. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Bottom of the deck is the chariot, crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and we'll leave that there. Okay. Fine, we'll clarify, don't worry, we'll clarify everything, throw some universe cards at the end and all that fun stuff. Okay, um, someone from your past wants to come back and talk to you and work things out. Uh, but there's, you know, again, they can't get you out of their mind. I'm reading all this from the top row. They can't get you out of their mind, all right? This bottom row is you, okay? This top row is the soulmate energy, that, that runner. Yep. Someone from the past wants to come pet your golden retriever or your black lab or your Irish shedder, setter, shedder, whatever it is you got, you know, Mexican hairless. I don't know, whatever the fuck you got going on down there. They want to come pet it, male or female. It's someone who wants to work on things with you. Um, it's a persistent energy. It won't go away. They can't stop thinking about it. All right. They try to distract themselves, but they can't do it. All right. We'll clarify in a little bit. Let's talk about you before we do. All right. Uh, this is your energy. And this is the other horse. Whichever color horse you want. All right. Whether whichever one, I don't really. It doesn't really matter. Whichever horse you want. This is your energy. Seven of Cups and Ten of Swords. This new cycle we're moving into. You're you're done with all this shit. You're done with all. If this person shows up, great. If they don't, fuck it. You're done with all this shit. You've got options coming your way. And do not be confused. Draw on your lessons you've learned from the previous cycle. Stay the fuck out of your head, all right? Stay out of your head. It'll twist your ass around to the front if you get in your head and messed up because there's a lot of options coming your way and they come fast. Chariot, right there. And we already had a tower, okay? They come fast. This, this hierophant represents well, it represents everything you've learned. It represents your soul energy. Look, he's not worried about anything, and neither is she. She got everything she needs. You're reflecting as the Queen of Pentacles here. That's you right there on that car. She's not waiting for anything. She doesn't need anything. She's perfectly fine. She's got it going on. Just like this guy, he's laughing. <laughs> he's not worried about anything. He can deal with whatever comes his way, or her way, either or. It's a he on the card, so I think it is anyway. Uh, or it's a woman that needs a shave. One or the other. Either way, 
that's that energy. Let's grab the witches and see, see what's going on here. Let's pull on the soulmate first. Let's have some fun. Oh, look, randomly at the bottom is the Hierophant. Mm. I'm telling you, you've learned a lot from this. All right. You got a lot of stuff coming your way. We'll, we're clarifying one row at a time here. Here we go. Tell me about the soulmate connection. Oh, and by the way, the hermit, this card here represents everything. This is you, basically, all around. It's you, the hermit. It's your inner wisdom. It's your inner soul, accessing, accessing your soul energy, your inner wisdom and all that. You know, you're all right. You can feel that there's something coming, most of you, if you shut your brain down a little bit. Listen, I tell you the same thing I always tell you. You got a lot of options coming your way. It's mostly around the new cycle. What what was is ending. All right, and when that happens, you're going to need to make decisions. I know that from life experience from my own life. You know, it it it, it, it when it rains, it pours. Right? And if you're one of those dilly dally people that's got to think everything to death, you're going to miss out. You might have been able to pick five of the seven things, instead because you dilly dally, you only got one of the seven things. Eh, five is better than one. All right. Let's see where we go here. Tell me about this soulmate. Tell me about this page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Always, it always ends up being a very unique reading for you. And here we go. Here's your fucking fuckwit who fucked with you and ran, ran away from you, wants to come back and bang you. I mean, it's they have not gone through a dark night of the soul. And I'm sorry. I know I piss off vir, vir, virgins all the time when I say this. Page of Wands is crossed by the Seven of Swords. Deception, 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 deception. Pay attention to my uh, Mars and Pisces all signs reading. This card came out in the soul position. Well, that person. Some of that energy was yours in there. Was your person's in there. Um, again, they want to come in and they want to talk to you. It's for deceptive reasons. We got the devil underneath. You, you remember back after the cut? And then when I, I, on that Six of Pentacles, when I started talking about your person, and I said, oh, your soulmate wants to come back, and we, eh, and then I pulled, and there it was. That was the energy that made me go, eh, it's the devil. This is devil energy. All right? This is specific, though. They're lying to you about why they're coming back. All right? They're, they're kidding themselves on some level. Maybe they're telling themselves, I just want to go back and bang them. But they really are deeply in love with you. We'll find out. But... If nothing else, it's deceptive, whatever it is. All right, what's on top? It's deceptive. Fucking hell. Unreal. I love tarot. I do. It's a perfect card right now. It's the King of Wands. It's the Burger King. They they want something for themselves. They want to have it their way. I got to I gotta look at the cards that came before. I got a Devil. I got a Seven of Swords. All I've got here is a row of somebody who can't let this go. Something they can't let go. And they want to build on it. They want to get themselves free. The Eight of Pentacles is the Apprentice. Working toward the Nine Pentacles. One of the meanings of the Nine Pentacles is freedom. Independence. They want to break free of it. And the only way they can do it is to come back to you and probably bang you. Okay? Right here is the King of Wands. It is the player, superficial, does everything for themselves, isn't capable of unconditional love. Okay? And that's one card there. Go ahead. Right. We'll get to you in a minute. All right? And then there's a hangman. Um, they do have a new perspective on their behavior, but they're going to deceive themselves about it. In other words, they know they behave badly. Okay? They know they behave badly in how they treated you, whatever it was, running from you, wherever they ran. But they're going to deceive themselves. That's the deception. They're, and I, I've already picked up on it. I said they, they may show up and tell themselves that oh, I just want to bang them, I just want to bang them, but really deep down they love you. Okay? Um, they do. They're doing it for self-serving reasons, though. Ego-based reasons. Okay, fine. Let's see. Uh, let's keep going. I need some space here. Uh, give me the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? It's amazing. Virgo reading. Vir Virgo, you and Aquarius both get like two readings in one every time I do your readings. It's unreal. You make me work the hardest. All right, Eight Pentacles. Eight Pentacles. I missed Taurus's reading already. It was about nipples and milk and banging. This this is bang. I don't even want to bang this person. Okay? Male or female. I don't. I don't. 
unless I was angry horny. You know when you're just like, you're really horny, but you're angry, so you just don't care who you bang? That's when the bang in the bar parking lot happens. It's the only time I would bang this energy. All right, let's go. Eight of Pentacles, why is it here? Eight of Pentacles. Ah, oh, yeah, they want to start over. Okay, that's fine. They, the, the fool. They want to try something again. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means to you. Whatever it is, they want to try again. Whatever caused them, there, there is some sort of... This is my laughing king. He's a big ego, the king of wands. Right? And people with big egos, when something goes wrong, they tend to laugh it off. Right? They laugh it off. The, the guy, the cool dude who's walking down the street, thinks he looks all slick and trips over the sidewalk crack, right? Ah, I planned that. He plays it off like he planned it. It's all cool. I planned that. It's fine. It's a pratfall. No big deal, right? No, it wasn't no pratfall. Is, is that your tooth down there? Right? Well, your pratfall fucked up. It's it's supposed to be fake. It, it, you lost a tooth. It's hanging. It's right there. It's, it, it, they're laughing. They're laughing this off here, okay? They want to save face. There's some kind of... It, that energy's been there a long time. It's still there. What's on top? Six of Wands. Yeah, they want it. Again, again, fucking unreal. I love tarot. I love how it reflects the energy. It just blows my mind. It's where all these punchlines come from. Is this fucking, these decks of cards. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah, the fool. They want to try something again. Because they can't break free of it. They can't. They, they're trying to get free of it. And that energy is proof proved here. With the Nine of Wands, it's a persistent energy. It will not go away. And they're almost stubbornly wanting to do this. And make the, it, and then they see some kind of victory and then they ride off. Right? Then once they get there, it's, a, it's like a conquest. Are you trying to have a conquest with my virgins? Is that what you're trying? Motherfucker. I swear to God, you hurt my virgins. I will fucking find you. Okay. Uh, the Six of Wands. Why is it here? Yeah, the, the Ten of Cups. The ten, again, saying the same thing. It's the same thing. But it's what's interesting about this is I'm when I look at this, I think of the Seven of Swords, which seems strange, doesn't it, that I would think of the Seven of Swords off a of Ten of Cups with a rainbow and happiness. But I see it's false. It's fake. They're laughing something off. They're, they have deep feelings for you underneath all of this. This person just either they can't, or they just they, they don't know how to process emotions. That's very common in this cycle. There's a, there's a conquest energy here. There's something they want to try again. Let's, let's do it again. Let's, let's try it one more time. I'll get it right this time. Or whatever it is. I don't know. Okay. Nine of Wands. Persistent energy. Maybe we'll find out here. Persistent energy that won't go away. Mm, tell me about the Nine of Wands. They think it'll make them happy. They think it'll free them from it. Right? I don't know. Whatever it is. Maybe they cooked for you last time. And it, it tasted like shit. And they felt like shit. And it, it made them perform bad in the sack afterward. And then they want to try again. I'm going to come over and cook for you this time. And everything's going to be fine. And everything, everything's going to go great. Okay. It's that kind of energy. That's what it is. Take it for what it's worth to you. Either way. It, it might not even have anything to do with banging or cooking. It might just be they made a fool of themselves. They feel stupid for running from you. And they think coming back and talking to you is going to make everything all right. It won't under this energy, under, under a deceptive energy. They're going to need to get real. I want to know what this Nine of Wands is in the universe. About to tell me. Uh, six of Cups. Okay, fine. They, they can't. It's a persistent energy, the Nine of Wands. Right, I said that. Rewind, I did. Six of Cups. Something from the past that happened with you that they can't let go of. It's just the affecting energy is backing up the baseline energy. Tarot 101. It's beautiful. Okay? Great. Uh, hold on. Is my deck upside My deck is not upside down. Son of a bitch. The Nine of Wands reversed. That's fucking unreal. The Nine of Wands reversed on top of the Nine of Wands. Oh, fucking hell. I don't even know how to read that energy because it's, it's flip-flopping back and forth so much so something from the past that happened with you they can't let go of and this is the this is the nine of wands reversed is someone giving up the fight someone letting go part of what they're embarrassed about is they well it, it, basically they ran okay they didn't stay and fight they didn't they didn't do something 
Is that the easiest way I can phrase it? I, it's a general reading. There's thousands of you watching. I can't pinpoint it. All right? I mean, maybe the weenie didn't work. I don't know. It's possible. Something like that. You know? Went to bang you and the damn thing never came up. No, no tent was pitched. I don't know. Either way, it's something along those lines. Eight one. <laughs> I talking about tent pitching. You use the eight wands to pitch a tent, don't you? Uh, wasn't that back in the bang days uh, last summer? D -d didn't we call these the eight dildos, right? Eight dildos upright, right there. It's right there. It's again. They want to try again. It's a persist. Something from the past is driving them batshit crazy, and they're and they they gave up. They they ran. They ran like a little girl into the woods, male or female, okay, or a little boy, one or the other. And now they want they want a forward movement. They want to try again. It's this fast forward movement, <laughs> thrusting forward movement. Okay, I really get a vibe here of that. I'm laughing, <laughs> but it's it's the energy that's here. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, somebody's willy didn't work. Okay, the six of cups. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be. It can be anything for you. But you know what happened between you guys. You know what happened, and they ran and they, and they laughed it off. You know who this person is, okay? I, I'm not seeing a dark night of the soul here. I know I got a hang man. I get it. Yeah, they do know that they're that they're an asshole, okay? They do know that they're an asshole. Yes, they do. I promise you. But the the dark night of the soul doesn't carry over through the through the reading. It's just it's all in because it's crossed by seven swords. They push it down. That's self deception. Six of cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? And no, we're not pulling on the Hermit. That's a side energy. That was just a, a sideline energy that came out overall. You're the Hermit. It's about you. Okay. Um, six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? <laughs> well, this is nice. Because the Six of Cups was crossing the Nine of Wands, right? It was something from the past that they can't let go of. Well, it's all about you. It pertains to you. It's the Empress. The queen of tits, the best tits in the tarot. I mean, I would be embarrassed as fuck if my willy didn't work and I had a shot at the empress one night. Oh, fucking hell. I could dig this person, a male or a female, all right? I, either way, <clears throat> it's about you. Something with you in the past. All they can think about is you, 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 you. And I've said that about this person before. It's all they think about is you. You pop into their head at least a dozen times a day. A dozen times a day, easily. You know? Uh, I'm going to look. Yeah, they want another crack at you. It's judgment. They want another crack at the Empress for what happened in the past. Fucking hell. I, I love tarot. This is so fun. Okay, yeah, look, they already got their clothes off, right? No wonder the willy didn't work. They don't have one. Look, they're a woman. Uh, right there, it, it's, it's the star card. Fucking hell. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? They're manifesting this. They're manifesting you two come, or they could be. But the way they're manifesting, the way I read the energy, because of this ten of cups, I got a dreamy energy off of this. It's hazy, whenever it's like that. It's this fairyland, fantasy land, happily ever after. It's also a a fantasy of theirs to get it right this time and get some victory. Whatever it was that happened, it doesn't. I'm making jokes about the willy. But the truth of the matter is it could be anything. You know what happened with this person. And I don't have any sympathy for them. And you know why? Because they haven't. They know that their behavior was shit. And they haven't really done anything about it. They're coming back for selfish reasons. It's the same shit I always get. So I stopped pulling on your person. I just wanted to talk about you. But this is too much fun. Okay? This is, this is someone who's daydreaming. They, they daydream about getting it right with you. You guys are walking. It's like daydreams about walking in the park, and you're going to the beach, and you, maybe while they're at the beach, you're putting the, they're putting the, the suntan lotion on you in various places, right? It's it's unreal. You're naked in all their fantasies. I can tell you that. Okay, uh, they're manifesting the the a, a second crack at the past. Fine, the chariot. For a lot of you, they're the chariot. I got double chariot. Chariot is the overall energy of our reading. But the thing is, you came across here as the Empress, right? And this this is the Queen of Pentacles. It's the it's the energy of the Empress that doesn't it, you're not waiting for this person. I don't think most of you care whether this person shows up again or not. 
I don't, but they, they are. They're, they're taking control and coming towards you. But who they might be met with, it might be a surprise for them to find out. Not unlike, this is probably why I keep driving you to Taurus, right? I keep mentioning the Taurus reading. Um, with Taurus, it's a case of they need to have an adult conversation. They need to start again from zero. I don't, I don't think a lot of you care whether this person comes in or not, but if they do, they damn well better come right. Show up. Right? Okay. Uh, boy, all right. They're, they're coming towards you. All right? All, the energy is anyway. Probably because the energy is coming towards you for a lot of you, the 3D person is. For a lot of you, the 3D person isn't. I can't predict free will. But I, for all of you, their energy is coming towards you. And I know that because of the manifesting going on here with the star card. I know that energy. I know what it feels and what it tastes like. I, I know that energy and that's that's a daydream and and it's funny that the universe that I, I decided to use the witches here because the universe gave me the naked person on the card you know it's it really is it's that kind of thing I think for a lot of you it's that kind of thing it's 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 sort of a somebody who let you down in some regard in the emotional department shall we say maybe the physical side of the emotional department too I don't know that's that, that that's not a requirement here all right, I read the energy how I read it. It is what it is. Either way, it's somebody who knows they did you wrong, but is coming back anyway to try to get it, to try to get it right, so they feel better. So they feel better. It's not unconditional love. Unconditional love is somebody caring more about you than they do themselves. This person cares more about themselves than they do anyone else. Now, that's why I don't like that energy. It's terrible. It's a terrible way to be. I need to grow the fuck up. Okay. Let's, now let's talk about you. Fuck this shit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch decks. I need a fresh deck. All right, I need a fresh deck. All right, hold on, little animal deck. Here we go. <sighs> let's clarify. Oh, look what's at the bottom. The Queen of Cups randomly. Come on now. You guys are the Queen of Cups. You're go the Empress. You're all the queens. So far, you're reflecting as Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. It's fucking amazing. It's beautiful. The two of the most beautiful energies of the Empress. You're coming out. You're ready to give the full cup. You know? But you need somebody who's going to give you the full cup back, or at least 80% of it. You know? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Let's go. Why is the Ten of Swords here for my virgins? Are they not about not to be virgins? I hope, to, I hope if you're going to lose your virginity, it's not to this fuckwit. Uh, the Ten of Swords, but you do what you want. I'm not your father. I don't care. Do what you do. You're lucky I'm not. But that's fine. Ten of Swords. This person's lucky I'm not your father. Let me tell you. I may not be very big, but I got friends who owe me one. <laughs> Alright, Ten of Swords. What do we got here? Ten of Swords. I've saved a few lives in my day. There's a lot of people very grateful for the help I've given them. And some of them are quite large. Uh, Ten of Swords is crossed by the two cups. Mm-hmm. 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 Now we're getting into some good cards here. We're pulling on you. Listen, something beautiful is coming your way. I mean, that's all I can say. I can't say anything else. It's two cups. You got a soulmate coming in. It's not this energy. It's something else. You've got somebody who you're going to have a meeting of the minds with. It's a contract card. It's about a meeting of the minds. It's equal give and take. It's nice. It puts an end to something for you. It ends an era. I think this is an era for you. Whatever the fuck happened here. It's, it's done. Ten swords. You got something really nice coming your way. Let's find out more. Oh, God. Am I going to pull a bad card for you? I don't think so. Nine of pentacles. This is completely separate. There's, think of this as a canyon between here. Okay? This is completely separate. All right. Nine pentacles. It's something that frees you from something. This is a card of freedom, like I told you up here. It's about independence. You're, no more codependency for you. No more, no more worrying about shit. You take care of your shit. You are, again, it's crossing here. It's part of our reading, the Queen of Pentacles. All right? You're moving forward here. You got two things. You got this coming at you, and then you got something else. Right? One of these horses is tamer than the other. Right? That, I'll tell you what. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Six of Swords, Rainbow, moving on to calmer waters. Something, all, all the shit, all the shit is over as we move into the new cycle for you. And it's going to come at you fast. We already saw Tower. 
It's going to come at you fast. The chariot represents that too. Some of you might be moving. It's possible with a chariot and this type of energy that's here. All that aside, opportunities, people, situations, going to be coming at you fast. What was, if this was what was, if it comes in, it comes in. If you want to bang it, bang it. It's fine. But know why the fuck you're doing it. Because I'm telling you why they're doing it. So don't start making plans like I told you before with this person up here. All right. I mean, you know, don't, don't assume. I'd be surprised if they're still there in the morning, to be honest with you. Six of Swords, because they got what they want. Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. All right. This is nice. Those are, those are two. The Ten of Swords can be really bad. I won't lie to you, it can. But it depends what's around it. Okay? Now, you've learned that. What's around it? Two cups. Beautiful. Nine pentacles. Six swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Beautiful energy here. Let's get some more information. It's nice. I like that nine pentacles for you. That's you being independent. That's you in your strength. You're not worried about anything. You're not waiting for anything. You don't need anything. It's very Queen of Pentacles energy. It's a minor arcana empress, as a matter of fact. Uh, Energy-wise, anyway. Uh, two of Pentacles. Why is it here? I mean, I know why the Two of Pentacles. This is where we might get some bad cards. Because this is if you get into wishy-washy and indecisive. Oh, they came back and they banged me and they said they loved me. And I, oh, I don't know. Stop it. All right, stop it. That's where your virginness is, your lack of experience. And I'm telling you, you got you to gotta, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And you only do that when you get burned by a few. Uh, two of Pentacles. Why is it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, indecisiveness in this new cycle that we're moving into. Pay attention. The new cycle we're moving into, which every day as we go through April, we get more and more in it. You'll be fully in it by May, I promise you. By the eclipse at the end of the month, fully, both feet running clear in the sunny new fishbowl. Any indecisiveness in this, any wishy-washy in this is going to leave you out in the cold on things. It's what I already told you about the seven cups here. I gave the analogy. If you make your decisions fast, you could probably get five of these. But if you dilly-dally around, you'd be lucky to get one All right, at the most. Okay. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. That's on top Eight wands, because stuff's coming at you fast. Eight wands. Fast forward movement. Look, I'm not making this shit up. I got a chariot here. I'm giving you good advice. Take it or leave it. Three of Pentacles. Stuff that's solid for a change, but it's coming at you fast. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. The Hierophant. Mm. I like this. Um... As I told you guys when I was talking about the new cycle we're moving into, the new fishbowl, I think I called it in the blog, right? Um, it's a time to apply the lessons we learned in the last cycle. Last cycle was a cloudy day. You know, it ran from about the middle of June 2020 right up to about the middle of March 2022. And it was a cloudy day. It was the most spiritual journeys I'd ever seen. I, people, and we can blame COVID for it a little bit. People were locked down, forced to take a look at yourself. You know, that kind of thing. That's fine. But in this cycle, you have a chance to apply those lessons. So make sure you know what they are. Okay, before I pull some cards on this. Make sure you know what they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I believe that. Uh, Three of Cups is crossing it. I love I love tarot. I really do. It cracks me up sometimes. Three of Cups. It, it's the flow of water. It's the celebration. It's the flow of emotion. Celebrate yourself for fuck's sake. All right. On one side of the energy, energy is always in layers. There's like 50,000 things here. I'm going to give you a few of them. One is celebrate yourself. Celebrate how far you've come. Celebrate what you've learned. That's a good energy when you do that. It's, it's, it's almost a gratitude energy. Obviously, have gratitude as well. That's a very powerful energy. That manifests things for you quickly. And it could be why things are coming at you quicker in this new cycle. Because you, in the clear light of day, can see things clearly. And as the, as the opportunities come in, you're grateful for them. Because they weren't there before in the last cycle. So, you know, again, celebrate yourself a little bit. But also, with this here, make sure you're open with your emotions. That's one thing that, a lesson you should not have taken away from whatever happened with fuckwit over here, is to shut down. That's not your lesson. Your lesson, your lesson is simply to only give love 
when it's being given back. That's it. That's self-worth, almost a definition of it. All right, it's this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, she's very loving. She can be. Uh huh. But she, but if she's not chasing anything, she doesn't need anything. If you give to her, she'll give to you. But she's not just going to give to you because oh God, I hope I feel better if I give love. If I give love, maybe you'll just love me. You know, no, no. Right? What's that Warner Brothers cartoon? Elmira, right? She got the. Uh, she she always has a pet that she's squeezing to death. I will love him and love him and love him and pet him and love him. Right? That kind of thing. No, that's not that's not this energy. That's not you. All right. If the pet don't want to be petted, put it down. Right, what's on top here? Magician. My God. The magician and the hierophant. Well, I'll be dipped in horse shit. The energies come together again. Here we go. This is this is nice. This is you've changed in this is alchemy. It's lead into gold. It's, no, it's not you have all the tools you need. Well you do. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you got perfectly good working body parts too. Your person got a picture of them right here. But aside from that, it's laid into gold. You've changed. And in this new cycle, it's a chance for you to prove it to yourself. I'm not talking about other people. Who gives a fuck about other people? Fuck them. Prove it to yourself that you've grown. You've changed. All right. It's about, you know, what, what else? Oh, oh, okay. Eight cups. You walk away from anything that's, it's, it's Elmira, upright, right? She's petting the pet, squeezing it and petting it. I will love him and pet him and love him and pet him. The poor, the poor thing is dying. Its eyes are popping out. It, 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 you're walking away from anything that's eight broken cups. You are only walking in the direction of nine cups. All right? This is about, this Hierophant is about making sure you learned your lessons from that past cycle. Make sure you're in that Empress energy. You're reflecting as, it to, as that energy to the outside world. Okay? So make damn sure you do that. You, it's a chance for you to show yourself. A lot of times when we prove things to ourselves, people who feel the need to prove things to other people all right, are insecure. I, don't, I personally don't give a fuck about proving anything to anybody. Most everything I do is to prove things to myself. And that's not selfishness. That's when you prove things to yourself, it builds your self-confidence. It makes you feel strong. All right? All right, that's, it's just I prove I can. That's why I play guitar. I, I wanted to prove I could do it. I wanted to impress me. I, don't, I never even played live that much, to be honest with you. I didn't care for it. I, not, I don't need the roar of the crowd. I, I do it for me. I wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see what I was made of in that respect. You know, so, you know, that's sort of what's going on here. You're, you're walking toward nine cups only. Now you're doing it for you. And those lessons you learned are very important in that last cycle. Right. If you're if you're upset, for example, by what I said up here about this person, no, they're fantastic. They're if you think this energy that I'm reading here, if if it's your person, it may not be your person. It's possible. It's a general reading, twenty thousand people watching. But if you think that this energy that I'm reading here, that I explained to you in graphic detail, is acceptable, then you most definitely are not an inner energy. You you definitely have a self worth problem. Okay. Because this is somebody who just cares about themselves. You're in a relationship with that. That that's a drinking problem waiting to happen. Okay, that's what that is. It's 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 despair. Love that's not reciprocated is not love. It is despair. All right, the seven of cups. This person just wants to prove something. They want to save face. Something they can't let go of, and they can't let go of it because they're an egomaniac. That's why. It's freaking unreal. Seven of Cups, tell me about it. Let's go. I've been shuffling the whole time. Look, if the universe wants me to keep shuffling, I'm going to talk. Unless you want dead air. Uh, seven of Cups, which if you do, you got a mute button. I, you, don't, you don't have to listen to me. Uh, page of Cups, crossing it. It's it's all new. It's new love. It's it's not. It's, how do I phrase this? It's not what you're used to. All these opportunities coming at you aren't what you're used to. That's why I harped so much on this hierophant. And the lessons you've learned. Prove to yourself that you've changed. Okay? Sometimes you're going to be tested with stuff that's old. It's like with the Seven of Cups. Some of these are shit. Alright? It's not really represented well in this deck. Although it is a little bit because this one's got a hole in it. Right? And, and this one's kind of shitty looking over here. Some of these options coming your way are shit. Okay? You, if you've learned the lessons from the past cycle. 
as we come into the new clean fish bowl. Prove to yourself that you've changed the old lead into gold. You should very quickly be able to tell what is shit and what isn't. Okay? It shouldn't, it shouldn't take you long to spot shit. I promise you, I can spot shit in five seconds when I meet somebody. I only got to know. And, you know, and sometimes within five, five minutes of knowing somebody, I know whether I want to get away from them or whether I just I, I will uh, I want to punch them, one or the other. You know, it, it's that kind of thing. You should be able to make the decisions quickly. Okay? You should be able to. Um, because the stuff coming at you is very different. Some of it will be old stuff. To, you know, universe, the universe loves to test us. But, but a lot of it is new. It's new to you. Okay, what's on top? Wow. So stay out of your head. Eight swords on top of that. I'm telling you, why is the eight swords here? Mm hmm. That's not bad, actually. I like that answer from the universe. I do. And the king of swords wanted to come out with it. It's, it's the same kind of energy, basically. Um, stay out of your head. The way to stay out of your head, the universe actually gave you advice with the response of why the eight swords is here. The way to stay out of your head, if you stay, is to just be curious. Just look at things with the eyes, I don't want to say the eyes of a child, the eyes of a wise child, shall we say, uh, and take action only toward things that make you happy. Feel things with your intuition. The um, King of Swords, though it's a swordsy card, right? It's a very intuitive king, actually. It's very smart. It's someone who knows how to choose something, who makes a decision, who makes a plan and takes action, but only toward the rainbow, all right? And if you keep that curiosity that you have for life, you know, maybe when you were a child or something, I know it gets beat out of us by the time we're grown-ups, but if you keep that curiosity, you won't dilly-dally on things. You won't get in your head about things. Most of the time, grown-ups in particular, the older we get, we get in our heads about decisions because they, they mean more. In other words, you know, you go ahead and do something crazy like blow all your money on a car or something like that to impress the girls when you're like 22. But you're a little less likely to do that. You're a little more reluctant, even if you want to, to do that when you're 42 or 52. Because there isn't a whole lot of time left to earn that money back. And then when you're, but when you're younger, when you're 22, you don't really care. You know, I'm going to live forever, whatever. I'll just make the money back in 10 years. Who cares if it's a stupid idea? I'll live on ramen noodles for a week. Well, when you're 52, you can't live on ramen noodles for a week. You know, that, that, that's not really going to fly. So it is kind of a, it, it's a reminder to keep that, to, to keep the balance, right? This is the older person who's less likely to blow it on the car because, well, you know, I'm older now and I need to make sure I have that nest egg. And this is the younger person who's like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just get it. The girls will love it. It's terrific. We'll pull up to the party in it, right? So find a balance between these two and only go toward what makes you happy and stay the fuck out of your head and all is well. You got nothing but great things coming your way. And most of it is brand new to you. It really is. Wow. 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 Again, a repeating message at the bottom. Most of it is brand new to you. Page of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. These are big things. These are big, life-changing things. Stay out of your head. Again, it just keeps five of wands. It just keeps going around. Stay out of your head. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Uh, I'm going to go back to the witches for that. Let's go back to the witches. Uh, or no, I need to go back to the first deck. I need to go to the light seer. Okay, let's go to the light seer. Right. Okay. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you and we'll get out of here. Listen, it was two readings in one. You know, I got a couple of signs. You and Aquarius are like this. All right. It is what it is. I give the readings as I give them. It's perfectly fine. I hope the reading was helpful to you. Uh, you got nothing but great things coming. This, you do with what you want. That's not my place to tell you. You know, whatever. I just read the energy to you. Somebody wants to save face here. It's the same shit. It was kind of funny, though, to see their fantasy land. It's all around the star card. It's, it's the star and the ten of cups. It's, it's amazing. You were definitely in there, Spank Bank. You must be hot. You must be a hot virgin. <laughs> Give me three cards and a crossing card, universe. What else you want to tell Virgo here? What else you want to tell Virgo? And I don't know if it's going to tell you about this or this. I have no idea. I have no Yeah. Let's look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. What I, oh, shit, I shuffled it away. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You are randomly at the bottom here. Remember at the bottom of the deck we had the Page of Cups 
And then we had the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. So it's big stuff, it's new stuff, stay out of your way. From another deck, I got the Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the, they change up now, the Seven of Pentacles, but these are what's really important. It's big stuff, stay out of your head, learn from the past. The, thing, the seeds from the past that that, that that last cycle gave us are growing. All right, They're plants out of the ground now. Apply those lessons, okay? Stay out of your head. You're fine. You're different. You're wiser. Balance that energy. The, the key to staying out of the Eight of Swords is to balance the energy of, we'll call it the inner child, who, the inner youth, and the wise old sage here. Okay? Somewhere in between is where you want to straddle. It's where you want to sit. I've got, this is just amazing. So that's what these are. Crossing the, the Ace of Pentacles is the Six of Wands. Apparently, it wanted to talk about you. You got victory on all fronts. The Six of Wands crossing the Ace of Pentacles is victory on all fronts. In other words, you can have victory here too if you want it. Okay, so what if somebody wants to come in and all they want to do is bang you to make themselves feel better? We're using that as an example. If you want to bang them, that's fine. If you don't want to bang them, that's a problem, right? So do what you want. You get victory on all fronts. You either take them at their face value and, and get yourself something that you want, or you go, well, they're an asshole. Get out of my house. That kind of thing. Either way, it's victory for you. You get some closure. Get whatever you want. Six of, pentacles, six of wands here. Victory on all fronts. My God, please don't argue with yourself. Stay out of your head. Don't Just try to be as neutral as you can about things. Try to let energy flow. I know Virgos can be very practical. right? Some of you don't like to be wrong. I, I know that. But the bottom line is just try to stay out of your head. Try to be as neutral as you can about outcomes. All right, As neutral as a Virgo possibly can about outcomes. And apply the lessons from the past. You'll be surprised at the results. This is I, I can't find the words to describe this energy that's been coming up for you. All right, I could find a lot more words about this energy, but I'm not going to. I think I've said enough. If that is your reading, Virgo. I hope it was helpful. Or readings, I should say. I hope, I hope they were helpful. If I helped one virgin today, I've done my job. I feel like that in my real life every day, too. You know, that, that's sort of my motto. I got a shirt. I, I got a shirt. If I help one virgin today, I've done my job. Uh, karmically speaking, anyway. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, Virgo.